let us study about some reflected rays corresponding to standard incident rays which are basically used in image formation by spherical mirrors we'll study in the next section here we can write for spherical mirrors there are some standard paraxial rays which are used for image formation by spherical mirrors and uh, these standard paraxial incident rays and corresponding reflected rays we are going to study for both uh, concave mirrors as well as convex mirrors the very first ray is the one which is incident parallel to the principal axis of a mirror which we already discussed that if there is a concave mirror with a given focus and center of curvature if a light ray is incident onto it which is parallel to the principal axis then after reflection it passes through the focal point similarly in case of a convex mirror as the focus is virtual the light ray will finally diverge if it is a parallel incident on the mirror in such a way that it appears to pass through focus the second incident ray is the one which passes through center of curvature before incidence on the mirror say the f and the c and say a light ray is incident on mirror in such a way that it is passing through center and we can see the light will be incident on the mirror normal to it so it will be reflected as it is such that it will be retracing the initial path the same phenomena takes place in case of uh, the convex mirror where of this f and the c and a light is incident on to it such that uh, the light is passing or appear to passing to pass through the center of curvature then it will be normally incident on the mirror so it will also be back tracing the ray as it is a third ray is the one which pass through focus before incidence like this if a light ray is incident on the mirror after passing through focus then this light ray will become parallel after reflection it is just uh, the reverse light ray of uh, ray 1 the same thing we can define in case of convex mirror also if there is the convex mirror f and c a light ray is incident on the mirror in such a way that it appear to pass through focus before incidence then after reflection it becomes parallel to principal axis as reverse light ray of uh, ray 1 the fourth one is a light ray which directly incident onto the pole of mirror and as being paraxial ray the angle of light ray with the principal axis must be very small if it is directly incident on the pole at some angle theta and like a plane mirror it is reflected at the same angle theta symmetrically the same phenomena takes place in case of a convex spherical mirror this f and c and this the pole and a light ray which is paraxial incident at a small angle theta to the principal axis on the pole it will be reflected as it is at the same angle theta so you must be very careful about these four standard incident rays and corresponding reflected rays how the rays are reflected because in many cases whenever we draw the ray diagram for the given situation these rays will be very much helpful for us